great search consultants, all of them share a, f- a few common characteristics of being really good assessors of talent, being able to sell an opportunity on the one hand and be able to sell a candidate to a hiring manager or a board on the other hand. And I don't like the word sell really to portray and to have a creative sense of what's a good fit from both sides, because it's got to really be equally uh, correct and right from both sides. So having a sense, having a good listening and, and kind of bedside manner to build trust with clients, with candidates, and with people and with references and all of that. So it's truly the ultimate relationship business. But when I wrote that article, I realized that I had been interviewing even since college. The other thing I did in, in, at Vassar was uh, back back in the day, the admissions office had uh, eight seniors be senior interviewers. And it was a really serious, uh, a serious role and hundreds applied and and I was selected and I loved it. I loved interviewing prospective candidates and having a sense of was Vassar the right fit for them. Then when I went to, uh, to after college, I was at Morgan Stanley as a financial analyst and I led analyst recruiting there. And then when I was at Harvard Business School, I loved interviewing for jobs. Most of my friends uh, on campus were like, oh my God, I've got to interview and all that. And I was like, are you kidding? It's just so fun. So I really was always really good at interviewing because I have a sense of what the interviewer is looking for in a job, particularly in a job situation. And then also when it's the other side, how to really get through uh, and, and get into the substance quite quite quickly while building rapport along the way. So anyway, I've interviewed for, for many, many years and I just find it one of the great ways of interacting with uh, with individuals. Now, I don't know if we'll have time, but we should chat a little bit about the art of the interview because it is something that that professionals all the way up to CEOs and board directors do throughout their entire life. And I've studied interviewing and there's some there's some real uh, traps to avoid as the hiring manager. And there are really some important insights that if you're the one being interviewed, you should keep in mind because I've seen it make the difference between CEOs be getting, getting the job and not getting the job.